Welcome to Admont TV. With us being well and truly into autumn and winter nipping at our heels, today we're going to talk about chainsaws. Cold start operating of chainsaws, maintenance of a chainsaw, and how to keep your chainsaw clean, serviced, and ready to be at its optimum use. So grab a beer, cup of tea, coffee, whatever your fancy is, and sit back and enjoy the show. Thanks, Carlo. Okay, first off, I'm gonna show you how to cold start a chainsaw. The way we do that is safety always first. We must always make sure chain brake is on. Reason being is because once the chainsaw is running, you don't want the chain to be spinning because it's very dangerous. Okay, so chain brake on all the time. Next, what we do is we touch the throttle lock, engage the throttle and bring the on off switch and choke lever all the way down to the bottom. That applies the choke, holds the throttle open. And this is only for cold starting. Once we get into this position, you would pull the cord until the machine was to fire, not run, just fire, but no more than five pulls. Otherwise, you will flood the engine. Okay, so no more than five pulls when on choke. Pull the rope, the machine fires up, it doesn't run as I iterated before. We then would just remove the choke. It only goes up one position, it won't go up any further than that. Now the chainsaw is ready to start and run. From this position, we would pull the cord probably one, two times, and the machine would just sit there running. When we get to that position, we would squeeze the throttle again and then let it go, and it will come down to a complete idle. Now the machine is idling, sitting there still, ready to go. Once the machine is ready for use, you would disengage the chain brake, and away you go. Okay, we've been using the chainsaw for you know, one, two, five, half an hour, whatever it may be. We've switched the chainsaw off, gone out, done what we've got to do, come back. The machine is still warm, so we do not do a cold start, okay? So to do a hot start is first things first, safety first, we apply the brake. We would then come across to the black lever. We don't need any throttle at all. We just go to the black lever and bring it down one notch. On a steel chainsaw, the lever will only go down one notch. That's in the on position. We would then place the chainsaw on the floor and we would pull the cord out one or two times and the machine would be idling, running, ready to go. Once you've done your viso, you just machine off, ready to go. Another quick tip in regards to chainsaws is chain. Chain tension, what's the correct tension? When should you use a chain? When should you adjust it? All that sort of stuff. Okay, the first thing you need to know about chain is if the chain looks like this, where it's looping down, you don't use it. You need to adjust it. Reason being because the chain will come off. Once the chain comes off, a couple of things can happen. You can cut yourself, you can injure somebody else, but most important, you're going to damage the chain and the chain is a throwaway once the chain is damaged. Simple trick, uh, not a trick, but a simple thing to do is to adjust it. You would need to, I'll just come around here, you'll need to loosen off your bar nut like so. All chain saws have a different way of adjusting the chain, so you'll need to work out which is the right one to suit your saw. But on this particular steel chainsaw, you've got a bar adjuster here, which is left and right. Obviously, you turn your clockwise and tightens the chain, anti-clockwise loosens the chain. We hold the bar in the air, as you can see, if you move it around, it changes, this is the, uh, the tension. We lift the bar in the air, we turn it clockwise, and the chain has just risen up. We bring it so the chain just touches the bottom of the bar. We would then just snip the bar nut up like so, and we should be able to lift the chain out of the bar with no effort, halfway, and that's the correct tension, chain tension, okay? If you have to really pull at it to get the chain to come out, you've over tightened it and you need to loosen it off because you're just going to damage the bar, the sprocket and various other bits and pieces on there. So, very simple thing to do but very important at the same time and that's chain adjustment. Okay, we've come to the end of the day, we've done all our cutting, it's time to clean the saw so we can put it away for the next use. All we need to do, we need to clean the air filter. Okay, so we pop the top and expose the top of the saw and the air filter. On this particular saw, it's very simple and easy. Two clips and the filter comes off. It's a two-part filter. This is the actual filter, this is just the frame. You would wash this out in warm soapy water and make sure that it actually dry before you put it back in there. Otherwise, you'll build up moisture and things will go wrong. 
Okay, so very important to clean your filter out at the end of the day, so that way when you go to use it next time, it's ready to go. Just before we finish on that one there, at the end of the day, we also want to remove the chain side cover. Why, you ask? Because in behind here is where all your oil is coming out with wood chips gathering, and you don't want that to set hard in underneath this side cover. You want to be able to clean that out at the end of the day. So you take off the bar nut, as I explained before, in regards to adjusting the chain. You remove the bar cover, take the bar and chain off with an old paintbrush, clean that area down, clean the bar cover, and just reassemble it all. It doesn't matter if the chain is adjusted correctly or not at this point, but just make sure it's all fitted up back before you put it away. That way it's, you don't lose any bits and pieces. Okay, so that's the simple maintenance for end of day use on a chainsaw, very basic. One last tip, however, when going out and cutting firewood or even just to clean up in the backyard, make sure you have a spare chain at hand because the worst thing that can happen is you are out there doing your bits and pieces and your chain goes blunt, you hit some soil, you hit a nail, you hit something and your chain's blunt, your day's ruined if you don't have a spare chain. Very important to have a spare chain with you every time you go out and use a chainsaw. Here's a handy hint in regards to chain loop. Every time you go to fill up your fuel tank, check and top up your bar tank at the same time, your bar lube tank at the same time. That way you'll never run out of bar lube for lubrication and cooling on your bar and chain. So there you go, some great hints and tips to get you through autumn and winter. Head over to our website admonmachinery.com.au where you can have a look at some great accessories and all the range of chainsaws. You can also, while you're there, subscribe to our newsletter and also our loyalty program called Green Thumb. Mm -hmm. On there you'll have access to VIP nights, great discounts, access to our partners. So till then, enjoy the great outdoors.